did actually practice them um, two minute one second games but they went on for, it went on for ages you know absolutely went on for ages um i'm gonna to, i'll show you what i mean it, that one second is like a killer you know if you've got like a really good position and the person's just darting around all over the place you know then they actually get a, a win against you you know especially in in time wise or whatever but on the other side of the coin um you can take your time a little bit i know it's only one second but you can just take your time and just flick it nice and slow and if your position's really good then you're really grinding them down okay so i'll do one two minute one second thing just to show you what i mean it's like what i was explaining before like the ones the one the one minute one second one it's like well you end up playing like a blitz match if i'm playing bullet i want to play a bullet a two minute with a one second that's definitely like playing a blitz match anyway we'll just jump in just to show the example okay let's go okay so it's got a one second increment doesn't mean you have to go dead slow but it it seems like a lifetime let's just grab here and you just see the time just clocking back up so it, for a moment you think well yeah you better look for better position because that one second they'll utilize that against you so just go for a nice position i'm looking for space to attack here with the rook but he's not falling for that let's go with that let's just bring the knight out now so now you have to you should really look to be playing your proper chess with this one second increment as best possible and hopefully the opponent is really draining their time down so i'm going to bring my knight here now so protector and he's gone queenside castling so that might be a little bit of a hopefully a bit of danger for them so we're going to attack the bishop now he's got his queen protecting so there's no real issue so we're going to take the bishop off the board and he's slowly but surely wanting to get rid of our knight uh, from our king's area so i'm actually bringing the knight here he's taken with the king at queen king actually i didn't realize that and let's just push here he's opposite our queen now with the rook so we need to be very careful if we take then his knight's going to take so let's just bring the queen shall we bring it here is it got a fork on let's bring it here does he get a fork? No. There? No. So the king is home alone at the minute, but we just can't get to it. His queen is doing a good job blocking everything off. Now he's actually got a nice sort of situation going for himself. Let's go here with the knight. He's trying to open up our king's space. I can't envisage his knight coming here or here because his queen is looking to get into this area here. Just like we're trying to get into his king area i'm going to put a two on one onto this pawn because we've got the queen coming here hopefully he doesn't see that but he probably will do because with the one second increment you know it's like a lifetime it's like playing a blitz match so in theory the opponent would have been about four he's not seeing it so we can not go for the exchange can we or are we messing it up is my knight getting trapped or something or some sometimes there's weird combinations of things we've got them thinking but i don't like the long yeah it's gone let's take and shall we attack the rook just trying to take it steady so he's moved out of the way so we can uh, more king side yep more king side protect my king let's attack his rook let's maybe double up yeah, he's doubling so let's take it anyway and let's attack again does he i bet his knight's got more benefits than my knight uh, it's not gone for the exchange that's kind of surreal um ooh, let's um, not do that let's not do that shall we do that one second increment is a what he's attacking he's coming down here he's causing all sorts of trouble with his knight now um, oh he's got a two on one Woo. okay so 
that's it I'm, he has to drop that doesn't he he doesn't drop it um, am I trapping my knight if I do that yes I think I am I'm going to have to come back around I hate this one second increment it's rubbish <laughs> uh, let's go here attacking the rook, defending the pawn um, let's uh, maybe not let's just defend the knight Let's take. One second increment. Shoo. Oh, let's, well, shall we do something? Time's running out. I need to move swiftly now. Come on. One second. It's blitz my. Oh, we got the rook. Beautiful. Excellent. There we go. Yeah. One second increment. See, the games seem to be taking forever and ever. But at the same time, if you're wanting to practice position play and really look at your game a bit tighter, um, it does give you that time period to try and improve your position. But it is just annoying. It's just that if I want to play a blitz game, I'll put I'll put blitz in. Uh, so yeah, I don't like the two the one second increment thing. So we're going to go back into the zeros and um, two minute zero increment type situation and see how we get on uh, like I mentioned earlier today we've done um, our first lot of 10 in a sense so we got we won eight games and then we lost two so that's better than we did yesterday because we got seven out of um, 10 so we're creeping up but it's not we don't want like perfect perfect you know scores you know it's not like a 10 out of 10 situation we're looking at we're just looking at trying to improve the quality of the game because like i said i i can win some games because the play, most of the players in those games they ran out of time yeah um and it wasn't that i had any perfect positions or anything it was just they ran out of time managing the time time burning but along the way i did notice that i was playing some chess you know, I was playing something, yeah, it wasn't all garbage, you know, high percentage was garbage, but at the end of the day, slow incremental improvements. So let's go and see what we can do with this two minute zero increment thing. Try not to put garbage in, but let's see. Off we go. So I should just rest now, but I'm like to think, well, you might as well just practice, it's quick games. maybe try and make it into quality I, I don't know if I can turn bullet into quality though I still think it's garbage you know <laughs> even if I got to eight, 1800 in bullet I'd still say well it's it's garbage it's not proper chess oh we've got a speed merchant but that doesn't mean they're getting the best position so let's just go here and grab this pawn take it nice and easy bring the knight back let's attack his knight moves this knight because he's thinking now let's grab this here yeah, well castle and he's coming for the bishop knight comes uh, we do have a bit of a fork situation here but we're not going to get away with that let's go here knight up let's bring the rook across and we can move and let's just take this rook let's attack the pawn in the corner Obviously, I'm going to have to come back down to get taken by the bishop. Okay, so speed merchant's thinking, but he's still ahead on time, so he's actually protecting the pawn. That's an interesting situation. What was that? What? Did you see that then? I was meant to attack the p bishop. Wow. He did a magical jump. <laughs> That was weird. Okay, let's go around here. <laughs> I think they call that mouse slipping, don't they? Let's go here with the rook. Oh, I've lost the rook. Look what he's going to do. Oh, he could have taken that with a check on my king. And I would have lost the rook. Um, what time is it now? Um, let's attack. Oh, free knight. That's because he's moving too fast. Hopefully, we can pay the price. 
Um, any time burners, time burners, time. Let's attack the knight again. Let's take. Let's push. Let's attack the bishop. I don't think he's going to give the bishop up though. No. Let's attack this pawn. Let's attack the bishop. Moving dead fast. He's faster than me, so I, I think I'm definitely losing on time here. My knight's getting trapped, you know. My knight's getting trapped. Yeah, he's a lot faster than me. Damn. He's 25 seconds ahead of me. I, I'm not getting that back. It's just murdering me. I beat the speed demon. How fast was that? Wow. I, th I don't need to do any more today. I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, that's like um, 12 matches I've played, that played there, isn't it? Wow, let's just look at, have a look at the tally. Wow, the speed demon, absolutely rapid. You know, I feel like watching that on replay. Let me just have a look at that again, because he was real quick. Ooh, real time right okay real time okay it might not look as quick now but bam bang oh yeah look at that but it does highlight a key point you know moving that fast doesn't really get you can't really get good position it was really sharp but the end result really is that position play does stand better than speed i think we said that from from numerous videos that we've done i don't even think there was any element of luck here either it was just a matter of this player is really good you can tell they've got knowledge but they just moved too fast for themselves especially when they lost their knight i think they did what they did or preemptive or something or the other so we've all got three pieces at the minute, three minor pieces at the minute. He's taking a while over this move. That's the king, yeah, protecting the pawn. And I think there was some... Oh, look at that! I mean, I meant to attack the bishop. What a mouse slip. In fact, that wasn't even a mouse slip. I don't know what that was. It just dragged itself up there. I'd admit to a mouse slip that that definitely wasn't. So we're attacking then they do have to do a pre preemptive thing, don't they? A, a little bit too fast. So we attack or oh, which one it was. Yeah. yeah, he moved his bishop and didn't protect the knight, yeah. So, yeah, that was a key thing for speed not working for you on that side. But then they were still playing and they were still moving sharp. So I'm just thinking, keep it simple, just defend pieces as best possible. And then they're, they're still looking and searching, so defending his pawn. Then we're looking to attack, but then he's attacking again. So he sees that straight away. It's got good vision. Absolutely good vision. These are the types of players you don't want to play against. You know, as they get better, it's like, my God, you don't stand a chance. They're just too fast. Okay, so we're grabbing up the pawns. Got nice space for, for the knight to manoeuvre. 
So I suppose that's a plus. So now we can attack and look to see if the bishop's coming off, obviously, but then he puts it to a wrong place again, moving fast. Yeah, so the, oh, yeah, I didn't like this because, you know, I'm losing a piece. I didn't have to lose a piece. So, in fact, let me go back because that was, that was erroneous in my eyes. Yeah, look at where I could have put my knight. Could have put it here. It's protected by a pawn. So these things I've got to iron out. I don't look at these wins and go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super fantastic. I've got to find the loopholes. I know they're not perfect games. And that was needed. Just a little knight move here. Where does the king go now? If he comes for the bishop, and at least the bishop can dance over here. He pushes his pawn down. But at least I'm not losing a minor piece. You know, you might go, well, you still got a minor piece and you've got, you know, the opponent hasn't got any. That's not the point, because if he had other pieces on the board and I put myself in that situation, then I'm losing a piece because I'm performing badly and I'm training myself to perform badly. Don't want to do that. OK, so that the rest of that is plain sailing. So interesting game. So, yeah, I think we've done enough for today don't need to wear do any more just uh, profile myself and just see where we're at have a look at the activity yeah 10 wins and two losses that'll work for me i'm happy don't want to over egg it and um, showboat thinking yeah i'm on a winning streak and um, that's fine for me so yeah that's that's the bullet for today uh, we'll be looking to do some longer games uh, in the near future but we're just focusing really on this bullet thing at the minute uh, just getting some concepts and ideas trying to improve the performance trying to drag it from garbage into half decently half good ish type thing enough to be able to eat the food off your plate rather than the garbage from the dustbin at this minute in time i'm not wanting to eat any of that what i'm wanting to do is be able to make a lovely kind of breakfast meal for myself for now just to say right yeah this is the quality of play it's edible yeah i can keep it down you know at the minute um i can't keep it down it's it's being regurgitated because it's garbage